Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karukan defense, which starts with c6, followed by d5. Open can take or deny. He denies. I can take here. And now bishop comes on f5. Uh, pawn to e6, preventing any threats on f7 with the bishop eyeing it. And now we can develop the knight, trying to go on b6. Threatening to attack the bishop. Bishop cannot go here because it's not guarded. So he goes back instead. Uh, we can develop the knight here. Maybe go for a knight exchange as well on e4. That would be one of the plans. Pinning the bishop is one. But for now we can develop uh, and try to take advantage of that. So bishop on d6. Probably queen comes on c7, casting happens, he's trying to force the issue there. So we have to take. Now what do we need to take with? Uh, because he will lose a pawn after I take, uh, so I can take with the bishop or, or the knight. I would like to keep my knight in the game. So I'm attacking and I now take, probably rook comes here. That's the max of an attack can happen. Yep. Uh, have to go back. No other option there. After we go back, we can just try to bring the bishop back maybe and try to attack. I can play h6 with the idea of attacking the bishop. Can chase it down as well. So g5 goes there. I can take this and spoil the pawn structure. And after he takes... I can go with queen over here, whichever pawn he takes. Okay, we come here. Probably can look forward to casting on the queen side as well now. Uh, queen is in front. What does he take? Ah, pawn trying to sacrifice. Well, if I castle, this sacrifice didn't work, maybe. But let's make it up for him. I'll take and see how it goes. Okay, he takes. I can come here. But then he gives the check with the knight. So there are two squares. Let's evaluate. This or this. Let's go this side and lose the knight as well. Hmm. He's about to take this knight, and if I go here, he comes with the knight. He can't actually, I can take the rook, so knight can be saved. Hmm, interesting. Now this doesn't work. So, going for sacrifice is one thing, but trying to hold on to it, retain it, is a separate thing. So he didn't calculate the worth of that sacrifice, probably did some math in his mind that I can move my king here or here and probably lose the knight. But he didn't see that I had f7 for the king. Now check doesn't work with the knight because I take on the rook first. Yep, I can still take. What is the threat? I don't see much threats, at least for now. Let's see where he goes. Maybe here he can or try to get queen here. Oh, check from the diagonal. That's also okay. Simply come here. Uh, he can trap me into a fork and probably win a exchange there, but nothing more than that. So that looks fine. Let's see what he does. Okay, he's attacking the knight. He can close the diagonal maybe. Uh, and this makes sense. Or let's get the rook active. 
let's get the rook here i can connect both the knights as well I'm getting use of my other knight which is more active what else um let's see what the open does here okay tries to attack uh the rook there if rook up i think that's completely fine rook here would be saved by the queen as well Here's a check. I can go down maybe. Uh, but then there's a problem. If I go here, I can play pawn forward maybe. After he takes, I can take with the queen. That looks okay. because if he tries to give a check i can move aside with the king as well this knight is a one dangerous piece here he goes to the other side now what is he up to well whatever it is rook in front of the queen always works let's see if it does this time Okay, he takes instead. I take with a check and he loses the queen. And he resigns. So a smooth victory there. Let's analyze the game. It was dominating. From the word go. Side of a d4, c6. Open with, went with c4. I played d5. And here I can capture or leave. I decided to capture. He takes. Generally should not. Okay, but I love the bishop. I took here, he takes with the bishop, I go bishop f5, he plays knight to f3, on e6, standard moves, and then I develop the knight to d7, I to attack the bishop, get the other knight going on f6, he plays uh, a3, which is passive, but trying to prevent bishop from coming on b4, but there was no threat with bishop on b4, so that's a waste of a move. And this was bad, as I said, he just lost a pawn there and center control. Had to take with knight and keep my bishop okay, but I took and kept my knight on the board. And after he takes, I go back, I to pin and I move pawn forward. And whenever opponent goes on h4, always push g5. And then you can take on the bishop, he takes back uh, queen c7, trying to make it active. And as I said, this sacrifice didn't work. I had to take. I took and then I went to f7, which is the right way. Open tries to attack with the knight and loses the rook instead. Then a check, which could have been saved with the queen there. But I just moved the king. Uh, yes, he didn't fork. He had a fork, but that didn't work much. Because after he goes here, I can safeguard my king. Max, what he can do is take on this. And I take back with the rook. So... That's completely fine, as you see. I'm peace up, so it doesn't matter. A knight is extra there. He has bad pawn structure, so this is not going to win uh, in any cost. And I tried to play rook f8. He tries to attack my rook. I try to save the rook. He gives the check, and I play c5. He goes back with the queen, and I attack the queen. Uh, here, he takes on the pawn, and I can just take with the queen. That comes with a check. And because now he has to move the queen, uh, we are going to exchange queens for sure. So that's what is losing. And that's why he decides to resign finally. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Uh, do comment and do like it on YouTube as well. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new to it. And I assure that there will be some fun games every day from where you can learn and improve your game to the next level. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.